The Old Timer Presents Culturing White Worms What you need to start culturing white worms. We start with a cool place to store your worms, like a basement, or, my preference, a wine refrigerator. A scratch and dent refrigerator will do fine. After all, it is for worms. Please do not use a regular refrigerator as it is too cold for your worms. Besides, what would the wife say? 60 degrees Fahrenheit would be optimal. At higher temperatures, the worms stop reproducing. Next, a shoebox sized plastic container with a lid. Preferably, you will have at least two of them. Feeding your worms requires bread soaked in milk or moistened dog kibbles. The old timer has found that after using both bread and kibbles, dog kibbles have some advantages. Dog kibbles are easy to portion for the size of your culture, thus preventing mold. A commercial based worm bedding can be used, or a 50% mixture of topsoil and organic peat moss can be mixed together as your worm bedding. A white worm starter culture can be obtained through Aquabid, your local aquarium society, or aquatic swap meets or auctions. Putting it together. Start with an empty container to store your worms. Next, add one to two inches of your soil mixture. Add enough water to make your soil moist, but not too wet. This consistency looks about right. Add a small portion of food, just enough to get your culture started. Don't add too much food, as it will mold after several days. Add your starter culture. On the top, add a piece of glass or plastic to collect your worms. Next, add a lid to keep out critters but don't forget to have some air holes. A spray bottle can be used in order to keep your worms moist. The old timer has found that at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the worms are the most productive in their reproduction. As your worms multiply, you can add progressively more food each time you feed them, enough food to be consumed in several days. In three to five weeks, your white worm culture should be ready for consistent harvesting. Maintaining multiple white worm cultures is a good idea. Eventually a white worm culture will crash. Your hard work will go to waste if you only have one culture. White worms sink to the bottom of an aquarium. Feeding fish that swim at the top and mid water can be accomplished with a worm feeder. Fish that benefit from white worms include corridors, catfish, loaches, some killifish, some cichlids, just to name a few varieties. Let's look at a white worm under the microscope magnified about 80 times. A review of this video and additional information, please visit us at the online aquarist slash whiteworms.html.